YouTube was good, man. It's your boy Tinker Vision. We back with another video. I had did it. I had did the same video in the barbershop, but I realized it was music in the background, so I was going to copyright it. So now I got to redo it and all this. So, you know what I'm saying? So today, basically, we going to be... Well, I already did it. <laughs> but basically, in the video that I'm posting today, it's basically going to be me showing y'all my barber setup my clippers the sprays the razors all the stuff i use that's in my barber setup. i'm gonna show y'all around the barber shop and i'm finally going to show y'all how to make the spice that i use to cleanse the skin you know what i'm saying so with that being said hope y'all enjoy and yeah this the uh station right here i got some more stuff under there but we're just gonna show everything that's up top right now. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Don't mind it too, it's kind of a mess. I'm gonna uh, clean it up and all that once I'm finished with this. But right here we got the Andy's Master. I just got these like, I just got these like, probably like four days ago. Not too long ago, I, I like them. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I really don't like is the, the lever. Like the lever, you really gotta push it. Instead of just, you know what I'm saying? And the bleed. I use this to really take the middle line out, like the middle bad line from the bar, and then the open, and then the line that the main you gotta take out with the one close and the zero guard or half guard. I don't use the half guard that I much. I use this guard open. I think I the lever. Put that back. <clears throat> and that's my very first clip I got right here. The gammas. I still use this fan there, you know what I'm saying? I like how the, the lever is quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, like if you want to open it, you just put it. You want to grab way too quick, close way too quick. And this is really zero guard, so like, zero gap I meant. So I take up the bottom line of ease. You don't need to get a trimmer or nothing, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> this is my main use clipper right here. My seams. I just like these because it's just so like before when I first got these, I did not like these at all. I was ready to sell them to him. I was ready to sell them to him. But I get another try and I'm messing with them now. It's my favorite clipper right now, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> then my trimmers, this is my first. I've actually bought these two together. I bought these two together. If I bought a trimmer, cause you can't buy a clipper without a trimmer. So I bought the gammas, and then I bought the trimmers with it. These are the best trimmers. As I can see, I'm pretty sure y'all know, like all the other YouTubers I watch and all that, this is the best trimmer. Everybody use it. You know what I'm saying? It's the most common clipper, the most common trimmer, popular trimmer. It did come with the gold FX blade, but I put the graphite blade on it and just cut smoother. And it's less sharp, like it's sharp, but you don't actually feel it on the skin, if you get what I'm saying. Because gold FX will be pinching the skin, irritating the skin and stuff like that if you zero gap it too much. As I can see, this is zero gap, like, this is zero gap all the way to the top. And I can really press down on the, the skin without it hurting. Like, I can actually press down. <clears throat> Then I got the slim lines. Damn, right you gave these to me? Yeah. My boy Dean hooked me out with the slim line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I set these, I just got these to really like for babies or to set the uh the ball line. Cause I be I be trying to, that's why I also got another trimmer. Cause I ain't like really feeding, like setting a ball line and then shaping up the hairline with the same clipper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this the the balled out clipper. Like if I need to cut actual cut hair, and this I'm gonna line the uh, line. I'm gonna, this gonna be the liners right here. I'm gonna like this is what I'm gonna do the hairline with. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I got fibers. I really don't use fibers. I use fibers. I use fibers only when a customer want fibers. When a client want fibers, I always just go grab it and then use it. I always ask my clients if they want fibers. And this is brown right here. That's why you see so much in there. That was people got brown, dark hair, dark brown, dark brown hair. And then this is the black right here. 
how I actually be feeling. You know what I'm saying? And if I do when I do do natural cuts that I post, I'ma put I'ma put it in the caption so y'all can know if it's natural or not. You know what I'm saying? And then also I'm gonna show y'all how to make the spice that I always put in my videos. I see you people asking and all that. Y'all really want to know I got y'all. <clears throat> Then this all the guards right here. I ain't feel like sending them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't feel like putting them in here. But in here, we got uh only had two extra thingies left. So that's why I put it in here when normally I have them right there. That's a new box. So we got that. We got the sponge brush. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? We got the pick. That's why I keep like everything got like the brushes and all that. We got a brush right here. We got another drum right here. Another clipper. This job will be no touch at all. We got this little brush slash comb. <laughs> I'm gonna put that to work soon. I use the ring, we use it like that. We got the razor comb. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> My boy Dean put me on once again. But I don't use it like that <clears throat> at all. We got the hair clips. Got the brush. If I'm not using a comb, as y'all can see, my combs are in there. But if I'm not using a comb, I'm using a brush. I did. I always start off with using a brush, like brushing the hair down after feeding and all that. But I went to a comb. The comb just feels too much, like so much more smoother. I got a little brush right here with no handle. I don't use this at all. Got the towel from when I'm cleaning my clipper, so I'm gonna keep grabbing the paper towel or none of that. So I just got a regular towel. Got the two packs of neck strips right here. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? We got the, the duster right here. From when clippers, no, I mean, I say clippers. From when clients get dirty, like too much hair is on them. This is the spice in here. We're going to set this aside for what I'm really sure I'm going to put in here. You know what I'm saying? And I also make my own alcohol. This is the spice also, but this is for the after. This is for the after. You know what I'm saying? Like, after the cut, I spray this on this shit. This burn their face off, but at the same time, it don't it smell too good. They love, every time I spray them, I'm like, yo, like, this smell, this gonna smell good. <laughs> yeah, we got the spritz. I, this is my first time actually trying spritz. I don't really use it like that. I just go with the hairspray. I'm gonna throw the hairspray more. This the one I get, get the yellow one. It's the kind of hairspray I use. Got the oil sheen. This oil sheen, if I had to choose out of these two oil sheens, I think I'm gonna go with this oil sheen. I just like this oil sheen because this John spray like crazy. Like, that, this John spray like, this John spray. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other one come out too much. Like, this one come out too much. Like, you really wanna record, you like, this one, this oil sheen I use when I'm recording, like, that don't look too smooth. Look too smooth when you record with this one. This one just spray out like light. You know what I'm saying? It's just like light as y'all can see is a different. This one smell better also. So I'll go with this oil sheen. <clears throat> then I got the extra bottle just in case I want to <clears throat> make another spice. And here, this is the curl thing I use for waivers or people that got curls. I put I spray water on it and then I'll put mousse on it. And then I'll use a sponge brush or brush the hair down. As well as also with the blow dryer. On. That makes sense. This is the kind of razor I use right here. This is the kind of razor I use the Astro razors. Everybody uses different razors in right here. This is the cape I use, Gucci cape. You need to switch up the capes, you know what I'm saying? You need to switch up the cape. And this is barber side for like to clean our truck uh, combs, like keep them disinfected and all that. You know what I'm saying? Also, wash your hair brushes. Wash your hair brushes. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? These little brushes right here, wash them. Do not just keep all that dandruff that be in there from people's heads. You gotta wash them. You don't want to put nothing from in somebody else's head. In somebody else's head. You know what I'm saying? Wash them like weekly. Every week you wanna just grab soup and water and leave really scrub it. Scrub all the dandruff out. You know what I'm saying? This is the brush I use to clean my clippers. Simple glass, just grabbing the clipper. Spray it with the cool care. Just brush it. This is the brush right here I use to clean. 
my clippers. Yeah, now I'm gonna show y'all what I use to make the spice. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is what I use for spice. This is what I use. I'll switch it up. You know what I'm saying? But I can't really make it for y'all because this oh, almost dropped this. I can't really make it for y'all because it's like filled. So I really can't show. I can just tell y'all. So what you want to do is you want to get one of these. You can get any color you want for it really don't matter. But I will use a little, mostly, it will mostly be this. So, you know what I'm saying? I put all this in the bottle first. One of these, not both, but one. This is made for the color one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go with the purple. I will always really use the purple. And then, not too many barbers, like not too many salons have this. This is some boy that come. They used to come my old shop. They used to give me these bottles of blue or green. This is like, I have, like alcohol, so it smells super good. This is alcohol. I can save this. I can spray this on the client after the cut. But I, I like to be extra with the smells and all that. So over these two, I put clum in it to really touch the skin out. This is like alcohol. You know what I'm saying? It's the spice right here. It's really the spice. It's to clean the skin out. This will really get the dirt out for real. So I'll put some of that in there. Then I'll put also a little bit of alcohol to really clean the skin out. Cause as you like, people that do facials and all that, not facials, but people that clean their face out, they'll use like alcohol or something like that to really pull all the dirt out of the skin. And then, Remoisturizing with the like lotion or whatever. So I put more of this in there, and then I just got this. I only like this in like that, but this is the bar. This is the barber cologne. This, this is the barber cologne I use. This is literally barber cologne. Like it says it and all that. Like this is for the scent. This smells good. And I'll just put this in there at the end. Of it. And I'll shake it up, and then voila, spice. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> now we ready. That's really all I have for for real. I got the powder. I got the cold care down there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ready to unbox these. So I'm gonna get the switch on and I put all the back. All right. So now it's time for the unboxing of these. I was happy as hell that I had clients today, but they unfortunately they canceled them, so I couldn't put these to use. Now I'm gonna drop a video on the cuts and all that, just using these two clippers. You're gonna see how they come up. But. Thing was in there, man. If I just dropped this whole thing, if it wasn't, this wasn't in there, a clipper would have been destroyed. Yeah, yeah but these supposed to hit harder than these. It's supposed to go see if they were coming down. Yeah, come with the charger right here. Come with the charger, you know what I'm saying? So I can just set it up on there and I'll charge. This jaw is crazy though. Let's get into the detail with it. Oh. Just look at it. Can't wait to use these. These are just crazy. No easy. So we don't sit that. We gonna sit them right there. Now we're gonna go to the pepper. I would not get this name for the pepper. I didn't even get this for the pepper for real. I just really wanted the trimmer. 
But we're going to keep it. I was going to, this is the plan. I was going to keep the trimmer and sell these. But I'm going to just keep it. Because it ain't. Because my goal also is to have like every clipper in the book type shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like I have a lot of clippers, so we just keep it. This is also click lever. It's also click lever. You know what I'm saying? So I like about it. It's like the gamma is just easier, it's more easier to control. Just to bleed. These are it for the main. I'ma zero gap my uh, clippers also. If you also if you get new clippers, always zero gap or make sure there's zero gap. As you can see. It's still room at the end of these. These are all the way closed right now. These are all the way closed. As you can see, it's still room. But you don't want zero gap too much that it pinch the skin. Like you know what I'm saying. You don't want nobody to leave with your with your skin empty. You know what I'm saying? I zero gap these just a little bit more. Y'all you can't see like that. But wait for it to focus. Y'all get what I'm saying. But got zero gap to leave. These just a little bit more, and we pull. So we're gonna sit that right there. This also, so we're gonna just also have a charger for it so I can just set it up, set it up on there. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna sit those right here. Hopefully, I don't fall. If they do fall, it's gonna be a problem. That's gonna come with come with the, the charger. Come with another adapter. Another oh I'm wild. This is for the yo, right there the same, right there the same charger. Alright, so we got two extra chargers. Which is lit. You got two chargers. They come with the guards, the babyless guards. I don't know why they put them in two separate thingies. I don't know if they stand for it. But it comes with the guards. Babyless. Come with the gray color change at the bottom. At the bottom of the clipper. You see it has like, has that little purple effect. I want to change the bottom to gray. I could, which I will probably do. Got to change for the lever. Just for the actual clipper. Got the instructions. Then you got the... Barber, I mean, clipper oil just to clean your, uh, your covers to make sure they run around and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I do this much of you also, and I also had a clipper guard in there. So, uh, the, the clipper head, you know what I'm saying? The cover of clippers, the brushes and stuff. And then, this is for the clipper clipper. This is for the uh, clipper. And this is for the trimmer. You got the barber. Give me the clipper oil right there. You got the, I use this to zero gap. This is the screw to take out like, uh, the little screws. That, um, the hair, because as you can see, that's not a regular screws. But I will loosen this and then push this up closer and then tighten it. And I'm gonna be able to do that without this little tool right here. This little red tool. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <coughs> I'll put this back. I'm gonna zero back all that off camera. I'm gonna take like, these out and do all that off camera. Let me zero get my clippers. You know what I'm saying? Just to fit for today. Why is really not too crazy? Just came in. I'm just sending this shot. You know what I'm saying? My hoodie. This is my hoodie. It's the case. I'm gonna put the link in the description. So I can do cop up. Got some on the back, but we, you mean I really can't turn around for y'all, unfortunately. But y'all get the memo. But yeah, this is the barber station, man. It's the barber station. As y'all can see, I'm gonna clean it up. It's a little junky. Like I said, I'm gonna do all that now. But yeah, I'm gonna put them to use when I have a client and I will drop a video on it. If I remember, so don't think if I drop a video and that's my first client I had since I have had these clippers. But that's if I remember. 
You know what I'm saying? This is the barber setup. This is the barber shop in general. You know what I'm saying? Nice doing this video with y'all. If you made it in this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we out of here.